I love cicadas. The bugs or the movie? The bugs. As a kid, we used to like collect their shells. Uh huh. And I would play with them like toys and make them fight. And you could like tear little pieces off to like indicate actual damage when they were fighting and stuff. Ah, you're a psychopath. No, they. It's just an empty shell. Okay, it's not like a living. I'm thing. sorry. I'm sorry. A sociopath. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, here we're going to talk about the movie Cicada. Cicada from 2018. Lee, had you seen this before? Of course not. Now, you got to say Cicada with an exclamation point, or else you're going to see the 2020 Cicada movie, which is oh, not this. Exactly. You, have to you hate to sure. see when another movie comes out with like the same title. It's no. not exactly the same, but it's enough that it's going to draw the first search, especially because it exactly. came out. Exactly. It came out more recently, and I believe uh, is is more uh, no, it, it, socially it, acceptable. It hits more than this. This one, is this so is like you know a Natara movie, which doesn't doesn't have the yeah, same audience. You, you get like diverted to the other cicada. Exactly, which sucks. cicada, cicada. Okay. So cicada exclaimed, "We got right here." So Lee, let me hear your non-spoiler thoughts Ooh, on this. Ooh, um, this is like not a real movie. This is like a fun thing that people made or whatever. Uh -huh. I always like to say that up front in case people are like, oh, the way they're describing it sounds whatever. It's like, this is like a green screen movie, very low budget, uh, fun, funny, you know, mm -hmm. you know, doing its thing. I think it has some charm, but overall it is like not worth it. I did not like it enough to be like enthusiastic, like go there. Definitely. I will say this movie to me, is, it's, it's definitely a low budget. It's a $25,000 budget movie. Okay. So it can only ever be so good, but it's in the realm of so bad it's good to me. Ah. In a very earnest way. You can tell that they yeah. didn't go out trying to make a So Bad It's Good movie, which is the only reason it's redeemable in the first <laughs> place, is that the man definitely went out to make a movie the best he could. Like, yes. you can see, like, passion in this movie. Oh, yes, and I yes. think that comes through. I think the actors were were chosen in, in almost like a perfect way for me, where you can't tell what's serious and what's not, because <laughs> these actors, like... Like one guy has the voice of a Muppet. Like one guy has has like the voice yeah. of like like. Are you doing like like the the PG parts of a porn movie? Like no, it's um, like like you talk like you're delivering one liners constantly. We'll, yeah. These characters are very interesting in that respect, we and will, I, I would love more... to know more about everything involved. Yes, yes. There's a certain strangeness, and like you said, I think some of the fun comes across too that they were having yeah. when they made it or whatever. And yeah, there are some things that are like baffling, you know, as you say or whatever. Uh, I don't, you know, I think that it could have been funnier though and could have been more outlandish and I would have Agreed. liked it more. There are things that I liked though that we can't talk about without spoiling yeah, stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll hit but, all that um, stuff in the spoiler but zone. Yeah. But I think this is worth watching for, for just that is that you don't have yeah. enough recently of these these people that are making an actual attempt to make a good movie uh, mm. and, and it just, you know, coming out like a so, so bad it's good type of thing. Yeah, because it's all... They've been yeah. hitting that so hard where they're trying to make that and throwing in things that they know. Oh, they'll laugh at that. Like, I no, think this no, is a, like, a real um, movie attempt that just yeah. happens to be kind of bad which well, is well, no, kind of great but it's um yeah it is like because people don't know what a twenty-five thousand dollars movie looks like yes and this probably looks i don't know if it looks better or worse it looks because like uh now that it's uh you know 2018 when this was made or whatever mm -hmm. right with the computer stuff that you could do I, yeah I, I called it like a green screen movie right like, oh it is you can do things differently now with like those effects and with the uh -huh. consumer stuff so yeah like the money to to end result you know uh you know process is very different and yeah i think that this just looks like what it is which kind of uh -huh. throws it because it's not ironic and trying to do things yeah. right so yeah it's got an interesting uh it's coming at it from like an interesting angle i think yeah. if you like the idea though, of a movie about giant cicada bugs uh you know killing people indiscriminately uh for their their inner juices and potentially uh exploding at times th oh. this is the movie for you <laughs> so uh if you've seen this or don't care falls over to spoilers and if not pull out now if you need a place to rent content, you better listen. We're Cannibal Video and we eat the competition. All right, so here we are for the spoilers of Cicada! Exclaimed. So, like, this movie definitely reminds me of, like, a 2000 to 2005, like, B-rated horror movie you would just see on the shelves, mm. uh, like, in almost every way. From, like, the effects look like they came out of that era. Holy shit! To like uh, the acting. Cash up front. I don't suppose a uh, autographed baseball card might knock junk off. To 
the cover not featuring anyone in the movie. <laughs> These okay. are all techniques that, that bring me back to a, a special time. You have like like needless nudity. That's it? You're done? Good girl. Like that doesn't really pay off to anything. Mm -hmm. um, all these things, they kind of like like trigger a part in me that's like nostalgic. Yeah, almost. you love this shit. Like I, I, it's it's it does check many a box. Yes. Um, and you even have like a fake Danny Trejo character. At you one do. Point. <laughs> uh, you know, in a role that Danny Trejo would have in two thousand five. Yeah, you have Danny like, Fago in here. Yeah, but I'm walking around. It's horrible. It's great. <laughs> There's so, a charm. There is a there, charm there's, there's to this whole thing. There's definitely a charm. And like you can um, tell that's because it was made earnestly, as I said earlier. Like yeah. this, this seems like something that someone actually made a movie. They weren't like, oh, I'm going to a movie called Cicada. Like, I'm oh, also so a sucker dumb. for one word titles that are the name of an animal. Of a thing, uh, yeah. That is the villain, obviously. Um, but, like, you know, there's practical effects. There's a lot of bad digital effects. These, these, yeah. are, these are all hallmarks of what, like, an early 2000s horror movie would be, especially yeah. in this budget. I think part of what's like the turnoff for me is that the main character, who is supposed to be this washed up dude, he's like yeah. hairline is receding and he seems old. Oh my, you fire? You're a fuck I am, motherfucker. And yes. I don't know who made it and how old they are, but mm. it, it it just felt to me like like mid thirties, so, I would guess. So like you know like when a YouTuber makes a movie, uh -huh. not a YouTuber movie, but like when when they put something on their channel where it's like, oh, it's like a movie. It's like Superman fighting Goku or uh -huh, something. Uh -huh. And like they're just acting and being dumb. It had that vibe to it. But the actors they chose seemed mm -hmm. out of place for that where it felt more like pathetic to me. It felt less like charming in that I, way. I, I, I get feels, what you're saying. It feels like kids having fun doing a yeah, thing or something. Especially yeah. it's, it's when you, it's like when you uh, have a script and don't tailor it based on what actors you are able ah. to get. Because well, the actors actor they have here as this main character who was supposed to be a washed up baseball star at one point they say uh, like whoa what happened oh, they still got some years in you I'm like it doesn't look like he has any years in him it doesn't look like he ever had the years not for nothing but you still look like you got some games left in you I mean what happened I made some bad decisions okay. uh, during this ending thing which can be argued as it is in his own head um, or it could be argued that it was happening, uh, a reference to something that happened the first time he took the bases. Uh, you mm. have an announcer saying like, like, oh, like he's young, and oh, they sure grow him big out there. I'll tell you, the Bombers have a lot riding on young Johnny Bash. They grow him big in Southern California, don't they? And I'm like, he is not young, nor is he that big. So like yeah. those things are strange. So whether that's in his head and he's believing that, or it's a reference to something that happened when he actually first joined, you know, baseball. Like I'm like, either way I take that, I'm like, that's weird that he has this inflated uh, mm -hmm. you know, idea of himself or not. Uh, but then you have like the Mufasa I, in the I, cloud I, I stuff. Thought, that you swing, Johnny. You swing as if your whole life depends on it. You got me. That thought, makes you know it's like almost like a joke. I thought it was actual announcers were there. <laughs> No, yeah, you do. His his coaches and the, and like that's the kind of thing that I can get more behind when mm -hmm. it's when it's dumb and like ridiculous like that. When the coach is in the clouds, like yeah, I get out there and do it, and, and then his head it. explodes. Yeah, yeah, like 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 it's funny in that way. Where I'm like, okay, that's funny. I like that type mm -hmm. of stuff. But there's not. It doesn't do that enough. And I think a lot of a, a lot of the comedy gets fumbled. Something that just came to mind is when uh, the uh, main character Johnny something Johnny Bash Bash. <laughs> Bash? Johnny's smash baseball bat. Uh, he hits a cicada into the building and, and it explodes. Yes. And, and you have green screen cops on there falling and stuff like that. It's very funny and stuff. And then, like, the cop goes, whoa. I've not seen it hit like that since the bombers jump, jump. <laughs> Let me shake your head. So I am happy to meet you. I'm a fan. And then, like, the joke is supposed to be that he's wowed at, at like, the, his baseball prowess, not about the explosion or the yes. murder or anything else. But the, but they don't really execute it properly. Like, you had yeah. to have some other character go, we didn't realize they could explode. Or, like, well, he doesn't know what he's doing. Or, or like, some weird thing. Yeah, because he has already yeah. been established, that police commissioner or chief, whatever he is, yeah. as a guy that, like, is over the top. He's screaming. He's very, right. like, into the thing. He's not taking any shit. The police chief! <laughs> Anybody stay home out of this shit like I told you to. Uh, and then to him we go, oh, I haven't seen someone hit that since you're that guy. I'm so well, fucking into your shit. But that could be the joke if you thought that he was pissed off that that guy's destroying the but city. But he should have approached it, it or more angrily for that to sell properly. Yeah. I really like that guy, though. At last, some good news. He was, good. He was, was on fun. Seinfeld. He was like the guy that ran the diner or something in a couple episodes. We don't allow any outside syrups 
jams or condiments in the restaurant. Amazing. Uh, immediately, like, was like, I know that guy. Is, I know you. That's a real person in this movie. This character was a lot of fun. I, yeah, yeah. I liked him in the, uh, like, uh, you know. When he something. bursts in on, on the anchor man. Don't, don't, stop calling 911. We're not making house calls for this one. There won't be any fucking house calls on this one. You got it. And he goes all crazy on them. He and says stuff. something like, like nice. "Stop with your trans, whatever," and like cuts to the point. Oh yeah, so I'm dumb. There's like a, there's like three kind of cringe lines like that where I'm like, oh, "This is dumb, weird." Humor. His delivery though, yeah, I thought was pretty good. With her new Broadway show, Trans. <gasps> trans that. Now shut up about that shit for five minutes. No, yeah, he was a good character. Uh, so, you know. I actually checked. They they faked me out. There was the one, like the main chick, Cindy, I believe. Uh, uh, they said, like, she was on House. And I'm like, I bet this actress was yeah, yeah. on House, but she was not. Oh, really? I, I didn't look I it looked. up, but I assumed that was that was a thing. I thought that was a really callback. Well, I, I may have looked it up incorrectly. This movie on IMDb is, like, listed in, like, a weird order. Infuriatingly so. Where, like, <laughs> Where it's, like, it's, it's an aura of appearance. And you're like, yeah. wait a minute. Who the hell are these main characters? And then, like, you want to know who they are. And because, like, I don't they, know. because they don't have pictures either because no, of yeah. the scale of the movie, so I can't tell what's going on. I don't know how why it's listed that way, but even when you click all things and you drill down, it's still, like, hard to tell. Whatever. Yeah. But I but I, I found Cindy, and I, and I went to her page, and there were, like, four things, and none of them were house. And mm. I liked house, so I was like, that could be this funny thing where you found someone who was on because, like, you know, 100 people were on houses, random patients. You oh, yeah. just randomly find one and put them in your movie and then work that in as some, like, Yeah, you as know, you read their, you know, their sheets, you're like, oh, okay. Blah, as, blah, like, blah. Uh, Jan Etor could be in The Fugitive and you could yeah. have a thing like that. You like, when we run that. a movie, like, like, everyone was on Cash Cab. <laughs> like, yeah. every auditioned person. Cash Cab, <laughs> Cash Cab, Cash Cab. <laughs> In the cash cab. Okay, be like, oh, I didn't realize cash cab was actors. I thought those were people. No, oh, fake. you shattered the illusion. What are you doing? I'm here for you. But like we were saying, so this movie, it, it, it's interesting where you have this one puppet and, and like it yeah. seems like it is used, uh, I, I assume it was literally just the one that is, is green screen in different It's angles. on a string. That doesn't sound good. It's yeah, copied and pasted, that. it's doing its <laughs> you stuff. You can see yes. it in the behind the scenes, like, right, during yeah. the credits, yeah. that this is all filmed like, you know, on blue screen. Because it's green. Correctly called it green. Yeah, it, it is green. You know what I'm, it's the term that they use. I know, I know. Keying, yeah. <laughs> But so you have this this one practical effect, which like you know is interesting enough. Uh, and I, I'm yeah. wondering if if they if they had two, and and there's a different one that they dissect with the fork and knife, or if that's the same one like flipped oh, over. I feel like that's the, that's a different. All one. the stuff they would have filmed potentially could have been before the scenes where you actually had to have it in your hand, because at one point they stab it with a pen in the head. It's yeah. like you do you do damage your practical effect. That one. We're probably being different. cynical. There probably yeah. are like fifty of these things. No, no, no. But that one looked different. The first one that it, that he finds. It looked innocent yeah. and nice. Yeah, and and as a guy who's like, what is that? Herpetologist? Is that a bug guy? He's a bug guy. So like, as a bug guy, the first one he sees is that one, and he doesn't know that they're a problem in any way, and no. he immediately stabs it in the brain. Oh, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. His first instinct is just murder this yeah. thing, yes, which is funny in a way. Y yeah. Um, that's gonna be that. Well, you just the, the the noise you just made is the perfect like response to this movie. <laughs> it's Bobcat Goldthwait, like, yeah, I don't know. I gotta explain to you what is going on here. I thought so, I don't want to be here. Like yeah. they could have used a little bit more practical effects because like you don't see many interactions where like it feels like things are actually happening. Uh, like there's a part where like they're trying to hold a door shut and there's actually bug legs and, I, and I, I'm like oh there, there's something on set here this is amazing <gasps> ah! oh my god we're so fucked oh, I'll keep pressuring. I'm trying yes. but then it gets kind of ruined because she like grabs a pole erects herself a stripper pole spins on it multiple times in order to get the you, you know well, the, the proper force to kick the door shut you say ruined I say like that's the earnest bad filmmaking that I'm into because they were like she has an arc she was like turned out by the stupid baseball man and now she's with her like new guy who really who like really, really appreciates her and she's gonna use her stripping powers to save the day like this is yeah and she, she actually was able it to works. on that pole and stuff her in the and it must just be the difference of an outfit but her in the beginning when she's like like dancing and like hits yeah. that guy in the nuts and stuff like 
almost looks like a different person than, than the other thing. And I guess that's a difference of when someone's dressed like a stripper and when someone's dressed like a person. It's a little like, like makeup difference too. Yeah, yeah. The, everything about it. I was, I was like, wait, what am, what am I doing here? Because then later yeah, on I, when it uh, cuts to like uh, the guy having a dream in the strip club, like she's like off to the right and I'm like, where is she in this scene? Yes, oh, I there she is. You gotta get rid of the bugs. I don't like bugs. They want the sugar, Johnny. No, yeah, women are trickster gods yeah. who can apply a false face and drive us mad as men. Yes, no, it's, uh, yes, agreed. Very that true. dream sequence is amazing. <laughs> they need sugar, they got, Johnny. They got the most they could out of, out of that strip club scene. That's crazy. Yeah, like you're actually, like you hit the nail on the head where it's like, oh, it's just unnecessary. And, and that was how it worked at the time. Yeah. Where there was a party and there was strict strip uh, poker, or there was some reason to yeah, have. Yeah, it, it was almost required because yeah. you needed, in order to get that rental view, it had to be rated R right. and to say for what reason it was rated R. And you'd be like, oh, nudity. And you knew all the 12 year old kids were going to be like, oh, I want this one. Like, yes. And you'd get those those rental bucks. Or it was like, this is the unrated version. That's why it seems like such like a love letter to like the classic like you uh. know horror B movies. And I don't know if that was the intention, but that's the vibe that it gives off. That, I that's really what it's, <laughs> it's really. Emanating here. I really do wonder what the intention was for a lot of it. To make a, a awesome movie about cicadas and, and show us we can what jump the true to fears are. I want to know for real. I'd like to know though, like if you're if you're jumping into the world of this movie. So they spread this this uh, green shit. Uh, yeah. It gets on one of their faces. The fertilizer head explodes. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, one cicada at the moment gets it on him and and bites the coach. The coach head explodes. And and these are moments that like I'd be like, it does not tip any hands. Like this yeah. this this um. This this Mexican uh, like you know uh, herbicide or whatever it was did not did not come to just this facility on a small town just in California. Facility. There should be heads exploding across the world. I'm sure it would impact other animals in different ways and things would happen. And that's the movie I want to see. Damn. <laughs> I want to see Cicada Two, uh, Electric Boogaloo, Electric. where it, where it tells uh. me all about all the other things that happened in between here no, and I, then. <laughs> I. The premise of a cicada movie where you do the 17 year time skip yeah. and the ones that crawl out of the ground have, have mutated, mutated into and large 25 pound. I like. I like that. They only emerge every 17 years. They reveal their wings. They feed, they mate, and they die. I like it too. That's cool. That's a cool premise. That's a cool idea. Yeah. Um, but yes, it doesn't, like, it feels like it's so, okay, the movie opens, and there's immediately a bunch of bugs flying around, and yeah. you're like, oh, it's not a real movie, it's a fake movie, what am I watching, what is happening here? Oh, hey, save the trees. The cicadas are in grave danger. Please read the flyer, thanks. And you're not sure that it's a time skip yet, you're not sure what's going on, there's a kid and a chick, and then, like, a jogger runs up, and he starts talking, and you're like, oh, is everyone dubbed? Do they not have microphones to film outside? Like, why does it sound like that? What's going on, or something? Oh, what the hell, is. bitch? Get off the trail! You know what? There won't even be a trail here when this is just some other lawn. And then they cut to some other place, and you're like, ah, is the kid dubbed? The Who's kid is here? what really what's got happening? me. Where I was like, yeah. I was like, what's happening? Is this part of the aesthetic? Oh, is it a foreign film? Why are you flinching? Because I'm scared. Of what? Getting hit. Like, and I know it's so, not. <laughs> okay. So we do our time skip, and part of that is like a montage of poor man's poor man's Jeremy Piven becoming like a washed up dude. I yeah. thought this was America. What the fuck? No, no. He's why? Come on. He's like doing that stuff, yeah. right? Rock and bottom of the ninth. I thought was genius. <laughs> That's a good one. True, true. Um, that guy sounds dubbed. He sounds dubbed like in Kung Pao. He sounds like... But that's the puppety nature of his voice. He is, has such an interesting is, leading it, man. Like, to is that, cast that dude as a, as a leading... Is that his real voice? I don't know what to believe because I, he sounds like, like a Muppet. Like oh, come he's on, related man. What are we to doing Kermit here? the Frog. Oh, no, no, what are we and doing? the other guy reminds me of like, what was the guy's name? Like Joe Thunder Internet Assassin or something? Like he's doing... I'm doing a voice. I'm doing a oh. voice. Come oh, on, yeah. Sarah. I don't know. Come like, here. And I'm like, is that his voice? Like, And there's several points where he goes, ugh. Just like makes like a yeah, noise yeah. or whatever. Randy's not leaving here without the old grandpa. This might help too. 
No, it's crazy. Like you would bite a cigar, say your one-liner, and shoot somebody. And but that's like Every him, line. like making a drink. Like yes. it's very strange. Oh, you like that? But that's part of the charm and what okay. makes this movie interesting. It feels like Kung Pao or that Corona Zombies. It like like when you said, "Is it a foreign film?" I'm like, "Yes." Is it a? Well, foreign? that was a joke. I knew it's not a foreign film. No, 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 no. I I know you know that, but I'm saying uh, it feels like someone took another movie and, and made this. and like dubbed this in, and we just had to match the mouth just close enough. So I'm gonna dub in something that's roughly equivalent, <laughs> even if it doesn't make sense for him to say that. Like it has that vibe at times. The, the old hole in the stall bar corner for a cocktail on her way home. Wall. Hole in the wall. Not funny. And many characters, you know, several characters don't sound like that, uh-huh. but that was part of what destroys your brain when you're watching this because the main character who you follow for most of, uh-huh. the, of, of the film is like, I don't know, and just his mouth just like opens and then like, I don't know, guys, don't do that, just like comes out of it or something. <laughs> it's insane. I'm like, what's happening? Why is this happening? So, I told you not to buy this communist piece of shit. Best I could do at the time. Oh, it's good. I'd love to to hear him talk. Yeah, like just like you know, order a pizza real quick. I, I need to know if his voice yeah. always sounds like that because it, it feels like a shtick for the movie. But maybe it's not. Maybe I'm really insulting to this guy. Hey uh, man, I'm sorry. Not intentional. Uh, I liked it the nerdy a- kid. I thought yes. he was good. I thought killing him off was a mistake. <laughs> the government has a way of containing these situations. <laughs> Ever heard of the Phoenix Light? The what? Exactly. At times, I liked the bartender guy, but I thought, like, he really has, like, a normal, like, line of where your character should be, and he's dipping such in directions yeah. here, like, like him mixing the drink, I'm like, okay, okay, we're that like, kind of movie. And, like, humping and, then, like, and stuff. Yeah, like, like, like that, weird shit, and then him being, like, yeah. this cuck for his friend, or he's fucked all my girlfriends, but I couldn't do him dirty, and I'm like, what? I, so... I liked Randy the most. I thought it was the best best part of the entire movie. <laughs> and now we're in the long hair club. So like I have to say that. But no, I like, don't disagree. I thought that uh, he, he oh. might he might be the best character. Okay, because you were movie. just like usually sucks. So no, like, no, oh, no, 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 not necessarily him and his delivery. I thought his character is, is like no. all over the place where it's like, is he an idiot? No, is I know, he a uh, comedian? Like, I know exactly what you mean, because stuff was happening so weirdly, but yeah. I thought that his peaks went went higher and, and stuff oh, like yes. that overall. He is the high point yeah. of the movie. Okay. By far. Cool. Yeah. Because when he was like, no, it's fine, it's not too bad. Oh my oh, god. Much worse than I That's thought. That's the funniest part of the movie. Ah, 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 worse than I thought. Ah, ah. And started screaming. Yeah. yeah, I was like, okay, that's funny. There's certain yeah. parts where I'm like, okay, you're funny, that's funny. Mm-hmm. And the whole running joke with like uh, Johnny Bash, Johnny Bash being like, uh, no, they're good friends. They're friends. I've known them for a long time. They're good friends of mine. And yeah. then it cuts to them and they're like making out. And she's like grabbing his crotch and he's like, come on, please, no, stop it. What are you doing? And yeah, like Let's that's get a, funny. A quick compilation here of the thing that I don't <laughs> like, which I wonder what came first, the chicken or the egg. There's a, a, a like a, the, the production cover, something called like fuck my neck or ow my neck or some shit like that. Ow, and, my and, neck. And, and, and that is said. Yes. By like a hundred characters. So quick compilation of that. My neck. Hashtag fuck my neck. Fuck my neck. I hate that. I love that. <laughs> oh, I hate it. No, like, uh, do you remember when Cartman sings "Sailing Away"? Uh huh. And like, it happens like three or four times, and they and they always do all of it or something. Uh huh. Like by like, I I hated it, and then at a certain point, it came around for me, and I started to like it again. I started okay. to like the on my neck. I I don't know why it just hit me a certain way. Different people say it different ways, and, yes. and one or two of them hit me as like funny, but okay. a lot of them I'm like I'm like, was there not another take of that? Could we get something better? Oh here? no, they're bad. They're saying it bad, but like I just. just just the fact that they had a running gag, like running joke gag thing like that, that it, everybody could deliver. Another running gag, I which I, I I wonder. Now, this movie was kickstarted. That's how like it got huh. this, the bulk of this money. And there's a oh. lot of people that die. And I'm wondering if that was a reward for giving money to yes. die on screen. Because so many people die past the point it makes sense for anyone to be outside. There's there's a chick who shoots a couple, uh-huh. and she's obviously a Kickstarter winner. This blonde chick. And then it, it goes looks, through her neck, it right? Looks, the proboscis or it whatever. It looks so bad. It has to be There's like a kid with a, a skateboard reward. doing yes. it. There's like all these these things where like you've already been on the news saying like stay at home. There Please are bugs. There's don't. a hooker. Try. Like after a hooker, a stripper. I'm so sorry. There's, There's a, a hooker. Well, I think she was a stripper that potentially does some things for money. But she doesn't do it on this movie with that guy because fuck that guy. You are a whore. Which means that if, if I can pay, I can play, right? No! 
Uh, but that guy comes up to her, like, after finding out that, like, you know, the bar, it's like, no, there's bugs, get out of here. Danny Trejo guy kicks him out, and he's, he's just looking for a little strange. And, and he yeah. sees her on the corner, he goes, ah, I got $20. And I'm like, $20, what the fuck? He's like, the uh, world's gonna end, I gotta get my dick wet, I have $19. But right. why is she waiting outside for her ride? For her like, ride. But th- there's a series of these people where it's like, why are there people keep being outside when they know everyone outside dies? Okay. The, it's kind of like Here's, in, uh, in La Valanchula, where I'm like, wait a minute, half yes. the world's being evacuated by the by the police, and their half is like, oh, that street performer is on fire. Like, I was going to say, because it's a movie, yeah. Lava Lanch was a great example, because you filmed this many, uh, you know, scenes of some bad stuff happening, and then we're going to chop them up and put them in the movie to equally space out whatever yes, happens, yes. and we're not going to care that Because it would be outlandish yeah. if you streamed, like, 400 deaths in a row just, just of random people. Yes. Yeah. You were just like, we're going to get some more deaths in here, we're going to get some more of the killer clowns on their rampage. And then we're going to just cut it in randomly. It doesn't matter if that yeah. character has been destroyed yet. We're just going to put it in the movie. It's fine. Mm. No, agreed. Agreed. <laughs> Mechanically, that is that's is. why. Yes. But like, oh man, don't, do not torture yourself. But I do have to believe that they happening. were Kickstarter deaths. No, some of them. Die. I think that's perfect. Especially the one that, that I'm thinking of is so out of place and weird that I'm like, that chick definitely won. Because she's just like, pow, pow, pow. It's like so weird. Yeah. It makes no sense. <laughs> So like one of my things like was that I couldn't get over with like while watching I was like that guy's not a pro baseball player and and and, How do you I, know? and I did have that mental note of like well Babe Ruth had a, had an un, uh, an uncharacteristic body type for someone that like you know and he's bash so he's he's not necessarily like a fielder he's a guy that hits home runs and I'm like okay right. that makes sense that could happen but then you see that dude like just hitting a, a baseball from like a little uh, like little pitch machine thing and, and pitch machine is is giving it too much credit it's like the thing that it's, was like it's Mr. Bucket yeah it's, just, it's, it's, it's essentially Mr. It's just Bucket popping out and he couldn't foot. hit for shit yeah. and they didn't establish him as being horribly drunk or anything like that no, and I'm like okay he's washed up now exactly oh. but then you see him one shotting bugs like like he never misses he trick or treat motherfuckers huh. Because, because he, it would kill him. Because you rose to the occasion. Because he recaptured. They are also the force. eighty times the size of a baseball, yes. so it makes sense that he would hit them. It's easier to hit. But them. even just for for distance, it like all that made me go like, this guy's not a baseball player. And it took me out of like the moment. And I know like how Damn. much realism do I want in this in this movie? Uh, and, and it just it was just something that I think about. And because I'm I'm a bastard who picks apart things in you movies. Are. And it, no, it the, definitely becomes easier the lower the budget the movie the, is. The voice had already taken me out of it for like the whole time. Like, okay, that was him saying it on set. And, then, and like the very next scene, the very next line, I'm like, that had to have been dubbed. It sounds so <laughs> weird in the mix. How is this possible? Is his voice just somehow getting through the frequencies or whatever they're doing it's amazing i'm going to randy's for a cocktail you don't like it you can uber whatever fine 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 there's so many lines when he comes in fucking seatbelt drink piece of fucking shit fuck Something that gave me pause is, is they, there's a part when he, I mentioned the fork and knife dissection of the bug. Mm-hmm. When he's like, it's like those things can fly they don't even have wings these things can fly it doesn't even have any wings Wrong. Then he goes, yes, they do. And like you see him like put his hands into the guts, thinking it's gonna be like, Sing! and like wings yeah. are gonna pop out, but they don't. No, nothing happens. And that's the strangest it's thing in the movie. Very because strange. Because that's purposely set up. So either you were like, oh no, it's too cool for me to have him dunk his, my, his hands in there, even though there's no payoff at all that I have to show it, or just <laughs> forgot to put that yeah, part like, in. Yeah, like, or they were gonna do it and they couldn't do it or something. I don't know. But like, yeah, there's a, like, is there a line where he's like, oh, I'm trying to do it. This th-. Like there's something to cover it, right? The, it felt so weird to me as well, though. I agree. It's I not. Know. It's it's something's off there, big time. Uh, I, I I liked something that pulled it back for me was when he first crashes his car and the airbag goes off and it's just a garbage bag. <laughs> that puffs up. I was, I was like, uh, ah, okay, effective use of white garbage bag. And they did okay. the thing that I don't think a lot of low budget guys would do, and they put a little like talc powder on there. Because you do get that like poof, like powder burn shit, and he, and he he did have a little like coke face because he just got caked in the face with some white. Oh, shit. and that makes okay, and that's a joke because he runs in and says we're all gonna die. Yeah, and everyone's like, dude, buddy, come on, get out of my bar. Lock the doors, close the windows, do it now. Yeah, no. Um, uh, speaking of the bar, though, okay. It dabbles in being cartoony sometimes. Oh, for sure. Well, no, yes. Well, Randy is a parody character, yes, so yes. But, but literally, 
when the uh, when when the guy who shot up the place when the homeless uh-huh. guy, the homeless whatever, guy yeah. like leaves, he goes. Whew. There's like a, there, there's like a noise that it plays. Whew. There's a little like like noise cue or something uh-huh. like that. All I can smell is your giant pussy. I'll show you a pussy. Um, and that and that made me go like, oh good, the movie's gonna be weird like this, and it, and it almost never does those things again. There's a part at the end that I wasn't sure if it was a mistake or a joke. Uh, when they're in that candy factory, a cicada like bursts through the ceiling. And then a few moments later, the exact shot plays again and it bursts through the ceiling again. It doesn't, ah! 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 Shit, no, it doesn't come oh through the already open hole. It bursts through the ceiling in what I believe is the exact same shot. I and it is. and like that, like it's weird because that could be a joke and that's kind of funny. Or if it's a mistake, it's kind of funny. So I don't, I don't know. <sighs> Does it matter what they intended? I don't know. I do put I a usually lot in what no. the intention was. Yeah. Like, I usually try to argue no, but I think that here I'm really so interested in what they intended that it's messing with my program uh-huh. or whatever, yeah. This, this is definitely one where it's hard to say. Uh, I need to sit down. Question, I care about you. And did I question, I care about you. <laughs> this country has failed me. And he goes, ah! This country has failed me! <laughs> and like disappeared. No, that, that got yeah. a legit lull. I chuckled yeah. at that. That guy seemed like not a Kickstarter winner. He seemed like a real actor. He had a lot of lines. I don't think the Kickstarter people, assuming I, I'm also, I've, I've, I've not read anything that, that made me believe that that's no, true, no, but I believe listen, it wholeheartedly. That, I don't think they, they got many lines, if lines. Maybe, yes. Or maybe, maybe the, like the Rose guy, like, is one of those guys, and you pay a little bit more, and you get, oh, and you have lines too. A speaking role, extra yeah. money. No, I think that that's great because it, it it it's like a theory that explains stuff, and if we're wrong, it's very insulting to them. And I oh, feel like that's key. I just added to my previous theory. Oh. What if what if Al My Neck is a production company that paid to have a have a credit, and, and he's like he's like. And, and uh, oh, every time you say it in the movie, we'll give you an extra three hundred dollars. Uh-huh. <laughs> and they're like, I'll put it in there a thousand times. I'll just keep putting it in there, and they'll never know it wasn't intentional. <laughs> I would love that so much. That can't be true, but I would love it. No, so I'm assuming much. that it's just that they back. Oh, of course, of it course. Whatever, yeah, yeah it, it's it's like you know, the, I'm rich, bitch, like of of this movie. Oh my neck! Are you saying it's not a real production company? <laughs> well, I think it's like a lot of movies where like you would get a uh, someone made a. Like angry girl fight, yeah. You create and, and a you fake call thing. angry girl fight productions, yeah. and like instead of this being called Cicada Productions, it was called Ow My Neck. Hilarious. I'm laughing. Trans that Pfft, punches out the, the 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 host of the of the news and then does his spiel. That's what made me laugh. Ah! <gasps> Trans that. He's talking about uh, whatever Jenner, right? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. 2018, I guess it would have been topical. Topical. Sucks to put topical things in a movie. Doesn't stay topical. Apply Topical. Like applying directly to the forehead. <laughs> like bum medicine. Yeah, why is it called that? I just think bums heat up aluminum foil oh. and burn shut wounds. What the fuck is bum medicine? You know, guys, we don't need to do this. I, th- I think it's fine. I think it's stopped. At least in this. I liked that uh, wizard, that uh, homeless wizard. I did not like him. No? I like the. I think I liked what's on the page. Yeah. I don't think that man delivered it properly. No. He... You needed Ed X Young. I will cut you, fairy. I did a gear fight with you. He butchered it. Yes. And that's why I liked it because uh-huh. he was delivering the lines like, "Did you learn those phonetically? Do you not speak English? Like, yeah. what's happening?" And I, that's what, that's what that's I res- made you like. That's it. what I respond to the most in a movie like this. Yes. They'll have to clean up that greasy shit. Just him looking like straight. They'll have up. to clean up that greasy shit. And then and she, oh fuck. You start mumbling shit about microwaves and aliens. The cops tell you to fuck off. Meanwhile, some bitch has to clean up that greasy shit. You start mumbling shit about microwaves and aliens. The cops will tell you to fuck off. Meanwhile, some bitch has got to clean up this greasy shit. Like when that weird rapey guy at the strip club gets raped by a bug, his proboscis deep in his ass. Why are the cicadas not raping everyone in the ass? That's where his sugar was kept. Oh, sugary ass. I hate to see it, folks. I hate to see it. I, don't, I dislike that the nerdy guy died. Um, right. He gets like paralyzed, his nose gets broken, and he gets his head bashed open. Put one foot in front of the other, okay? Put one foot in front of the other. One, two, three. Oh, uh, my fucking nose! You uh, fucking uh, idiot! 
Everyone yeah. dies with the same kind of head bash effect. I did not find uh, it funny when he. Uh, no, like, I li- I genuinely liked that character. And we're like, God, oh, and he falls again. Like, I know he's going to fall. Yeah. yeah, I was like, oh, why not Bash? But Bash does die. Uh, yeah, and like he gets killed in a way where you're like, oh, they hate him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he does get this cool move where he like he chain reaction launches one and it, like it blows up everything else. But the explosions oh. happen so sporadically because they're bashing things all the time and they're not yes. blowing up. No, but they I blow d- up just I, conveniently when they want to. I did like that a lot when he knocks one into the because like, yeah, yeah. there's a swarm they're, they're everywhere clustered pretty and it deep, appears yeah. to be and you're like oh an explanation for how he saved the day I guess. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, he, he just just him hitting it with the bat then should have been enough. Right, you would to make think, like, what, but we don't have to. But whatever. Yes, also, yes. Also, they seem to forget about the fact that you know that they explode, and then they right. I would have liked, and this it is would have m- added a lot more work. So they stopped it. This is too much to ask, but I would have liked a visual uh, indication, like they start to glow red, like in a video game or something. Oh, like, like that, they're close to that. They're up. going to explode. I wanted well, what Which I thought was going to happen when they're all circled up, uh, yeah. you know, in the park where it all began, where it's about to end, mm. and they're hitting them. I th- and their other ones are just fucking in the trees. I thought it was going to be a series of volleying them into one's fucking killing all the ones in the tree through explosions. Yes. But it ends, Bash dies, our two people get away, and in 17 years, we're going to have another round where they're potentially twice as big. Make that movie. Oh, and there's a little, it's a nice cloth puppet underneath. Yeah, the like, they're like, the, like, like, they're like the size of like raptors, like, ah, nah, 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 like picking people up and dropping them and doing crazy shit. Yeah, I think you, you, you could do a whole life cycle per movie thing like mm-hmm. uh, Tremors would do. Yeah, yeah. Because they keep it 17 years every time, new cast. Yeah, the next time it's it's people in costumes, you can do a practical effect, and they have like scything talon <laughs> arms. <laughs> <laughs> No, there's a lot of legs here. I, I think ultimately this is like, you know, obviously a passion project. This this yeah. is a, it's a fun enough movie. For 25 grand, uh, with the amount of like green screen and bullshit they did, because like that's a huge green screen. I, I imagine they went to like a facility and had to rent and like do things. There's people on it. like, you know, like pivots yeah. and cranes being lifted up out of shots. Like you can yeah, see yeah, where yeah. money went. And, and just in the sheer amount of time, every shot has like an effect shot and it took them probably forever. Um, I don't know no, when this I, was started. You, you can't hate this that much because of the fun that comes through and like yeah, you yeah. say, the passion. It's a goofy, fun like, movie. This is intentional. We're doing this mm-hmm. on purpose, yeah. No, I, I think, I wouldn't say, this is the feel-good movie of 2020. Um, but it, it's, it's, it could be a, a interesting Saturday night in 2003. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. If you want to support the show, head over to cannibalvideo.com, pick up some merch. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's something. Whatever. Fuck these motherfuckers. Must be my motherfucking birthday. Can I-